Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick video showing how to tie the skimaki end knots uh, for a skimaki. So, let's get started. Now real quick, we're going to go over the tools that will be necessary for this. Now keep in mind, some people use different kinds of tools for this. I'm just showing you what I do. We'll need a clamp to hold the ito tight while you're doing the knot. You're also going to need something to take the ito and get it underneath of this crossing. And some use a needle with thread on it. It's a mattress needle. I use this. This is a paper clip. I straighten it out, bend it in the middle, and this here is you know just an easy thing you can use. You can easily uh, you know throw it away when you're done. To feed this underneath you're going to need a pair of pliers. This is my Leatherman PS4 squirt for my keys. You're also going to need some small wads of paper to help hold the end knots. You're going to need some glue. Now for glue, I don't use uh, rice glue, which is the traditional glue, because you know it's, it's the modern age. We have much better glues nowadays. So I typically use uh, something like this. This here is epoxy, and this is what I'm going to be using. As you can see, it dries clear. This one sets in five minutes. You can have ones that uh, dry in even longer time. Now, you're going to need something to push the Ito with as well. And I use this. This is a repurposed screwdriver. The head was chipped and couldn't really be used very well as a screwdriver anymore. So I just took and sanded the corners so that got that chip off of it ground some ridges off that was right here, and reshaped the handle. So, this is a very easy way to do it, and it had these ridges here, right here as well, which I just completely took off. I filed them off. If you're going to be doing skimaki a lot, this is a very nice tool that you can use. Uh, you can also use things like uh, small oak dowels, which I used for a while. I took a dowel and I shaped it to the shape to do that. Uh, I've seen chopsticks used. You know, you can use a lot of different things. I just like this. Of course, you're going to need a plate to contain the epoxy and all that. Now from here, you're going to take your paper clip with your pliers, grab it, and you're going to push it underneath it here. And one thing you may also want to do, and this is something I do, is take and curve the paper clip slightly. So as you can see, it now has this shape, which makes it easier for going under there. Now, take your pliers, and you're going to go right under this crossing right here. So I like to start closer down, and now start pushing it under. And of course, this is a tight skimaki, so it's going to be harder, and that's the way you want this. You want your skimaki nice and tight. And there we go. I'm going to use something to spread that with. I'll just use my screwdriver. And there we go now. It's slightly spread. Now take the ito, put it in the end right here. And one thing to keep in mind, at least this is the way I do it, is you don't want that much like that because then you're going to have to try to pull all this through this double thickness right here for a much longer period of time. So what I do is I get it right towards the end just like that. And if you want you can also undo the tape. I'm going to leave the tape on for right now just to make this easy. This is the tape that the Ito came with. Now we take our pliers and from here we just pull this right on through. There we go. So the paper clip let go, but that's fine because now from here we can just pull it right on through. And as you can see, the way you want it is so that this lays flat like this, and when you pull it, you want this all to lay very flat. So I just put this twist in here to show you how to get this out in case you encounter this. As you can see now, this is going to go this way, but if I were to pull this 
tight the way it needs to be, I have this twist in here. Or maybe you end up with multiple twists. It's okay, uh, don't panic. It's actually very easy to get out. What you can do is this. Pull the Ito so that you have it very close to the end, just like this. Now what you're going to do is twist the Ito here and twist it here in the opposite direction that it is going. So the twist is going this way. I want to go the other way. Now from here, pull, and out it comes, just like that. Now this part will lay flat, just the way that it needs to sit. So we're going to leave this part alone now. The next one we're going to need to do is this side. And to make this easy, as you can see, the side that was on the right has a tape, the side that was on the left does not. Now, we take our paper clip again, but this time we're going to go under it this way. So take your pliers and push it right underneath. Now we take the other strand of Ito and we're going right into the hole. Now from here, try and make sure not to get a twist in it, but if you have a twist you can do the what I showed you before to get it out. Put it right towards the end, just like this. Bend it. Now you take your pliers, grab the paper clip, and just start pulling. So I'm going to take this out now, and as you can see we're starting to get our end knot shaped. So I'm just going to do this right now just to make it easier. Pull that like that. Pull this part down here. Now for the next part, I'm going to take the paper clip and we're going to go underneath all three of these. Now, I'm going to take the left piece, the piece that was on the left, and now same idea, take your screwdriver, spread the paper clip slightly, so you have your little hole. Pull the Ito together. You can even put in your mouth to get it all put together like that. Pulling it up here. Now, pull this down and out of the way. Take the pliers. Grab the paper clip. Get all the slack out and just start pulling. Now, don't pull all the way through because you're going to need to do a little shaping right here now. So, uh, this is also the time when I take and I will tighten the Ito down. So, if you need to, take your pliers and gently pull up on this part of the knot. There we go. And don't get too confused with this. What I do is the part that was in the middle, I just leave shorter, and the one that goes around the bottom, I make this big loop, and it goes all the way down here, just to make things easy. Now you're going to take and undo your clamp. Pull that a little bit up more. And from here, pull tight. You want this to be as tight as you can. And what I do from here is to make it easier. On one side, I will often take, use my knee on the ska, and like this, just pull. <clears throat> now that one is as tight as it needs to be. So take it and pull this piece up. Now do the same to the other. Now from here, pull the Ito up into place, but don't pull too tight, not yet. Now you're going to take your little wad of paper and you're going to put it in there. Now what I use is when I make these little wads of paper, I use Kleenex. Uh, just tear the corner and make it the right size. So now for the shape of this end knot, 
You can do this a couple ways. One is if you want a point, you can do it as a point, or if you want it round, you can do it round. And I will show you a little quick demonstration of each. This is for for the point, what you're going to want is like this. Okay? So you want it to be so that when it lays, it's going to lay more like that. When you pull it through, and as you can see, the little point is starting to form. So then from here, what you do is you can you take your little wad of paper, stick it in there. and just like that. There's an up close of the more pointed shape right there. Now for this one I'm going to do a round shape right here. So for this one uh, you don't want it to be in this fashion. So here as you can see this here is the top side. The top side faces here but you want the top side to also face here which creates this little kind of like a twist basically. Okay, as you can see it puts a twist in which gives that arrow shape. For this other one what you can do is you're going to take and twist it so from here twist it to the right do the same on this side and this is if you didn't get it this way already now from here, if this is the top, there's the bottom. As you can see, the bottom goes here and becomes the front. So, take our little paper wad, and you're going to squeeze this part here together. Get it right in there. So as you can see, there's the round shape rather than the point, and it's all personal preference there. So now from here, if you can, you want these pieces to be side by side just like that. With a lot of fittings, you can't do that. You're going to have to stack it like that, and that's completely fine. So now we go over this, and we go the other side. Now, from here, the ora side knot is done. So the ora side is the side that is worn inside facing the body. You may have to do it on the other side depending on the length of your ska, but that side's done. Now you're going to have to get the etho into your kashara. So make sure that the kashara is facing the right way. And this is very simple, of course, you're just going to Get right on through the holes. Now we get the other one in. And with the way that this is, since I have all this length, I'm just going to cut this part so I get a nice even end again. And there we go. Now, if you don't have enough etho to do that, then uh, you're just going to have to keep pushing it through and uh, be careful not to fray it more. So, getting it through the kashara, and this is the part where I use my little pliers again. And if you're having trouble, you can also use your pushing tool to get it in, just to get enough in so you can pull it on through. Now there's still the other one that we have to get through. And if you're going to use pliers, what I like to do is work towards the endmost bit of the ito that you can. That way, if you do end up snagging it like this right here, then it's not going to be an issue. So now from here, again, take the ito, pushing it through. And there we go. So now from here, we're going to push it down to get our kashra in place. 
and make sure that your kasha is fully seated. From here, what you do is very, very simple. You have two pieces. Now this piece on the left, which is mar still marked with the tape, and this end here, which is the frayed end, that is not marked with tape. From here, we're going to use our paper clip again. And take your paper clip, and you're going to go under the ito right here. Using the pliers if you need to, to push. Now take your ito, and as I said, this is the piece on the right, and you're going to pull it right on through. Now from here, take your pliers and pull the ito through. Now this part needs to lay flat, and this is the part where you will finally need the glue. So this would be a good time now to mix together your epoxy, or whatever it is that you're using. So I'm going to mix my epoxy together and I'll uh, be back with you. So now, if you are going to be using epoxy, I highly recommend to be sure not to get it anywhere that you don't want it. So you're going to want the epoxy right on, this is the top part of the ito. I'll pull this through a little bit, right here. So that's where you want to get on there. So what I do, and I've seen before a lot of people what they'll do is they'll just pull it like they'll get it tight and then when they push it in they will glue the very end. I like to from here glue from here all the way to the end that will be pushed in for added security. So once again if you have long strands of ito this is when it will be a bit easier. No big deal if you don't. If you don't have longer strands then just carefully apply it on there. So from here, from here you now take your glue, epoxy, whatever it is you are using, and apply it right here and spread it out evenly. Being that this is the five minute epoxy, you shouldn't have too much trouble. Try not to get anywhere that will be seen, because otherwise it will darken your ito. So now from here, we work fast. Take this piece and you're going to pull it right on through just like that. Now this is when you are going to cut your ito and this you can use a knife or you can use scissors doesn't matter either way and you may want to cut it a little bit long at first just to check it okay a little bit shorter that should be pretty good maybe a little bit more make sure not to cut this piece too short because this is trust me I've done it you it is a terrible feeling to cut this piece too short after you've just done a good skamaki now you take your screwdriver or whatever it is you are using as I said pull this tight now just start pushing to get this all in there and make sure it is completely in there. There. Now make sure that this is in, as I said, nice and tight, because now that, once it dries, will not be going anywhere. So definitely be sure it is in the center as well. We take our paper clip again, and uh, just as before, reshape it if you have to. Now this is the left piece, the piece that has the tape. Push it up here for now. And from here, take and push right underneath here. Shouldn't have too much trouble with that knot there at all. And if you do, just quickly push back in or just wait for it to dry completely. Grab your ito, pass it under here, make sure this is flat. Take your pliers and pull. 
Now from here, because I like mine to be extra secure, I take this piece of etho and I glue it to this one. So it doesn't have to be very much, just a little bit right there. And spread it right to where it needs to be. Take and pull this piece under now. And as I said now, you're going to pull tight. Now, once again, reshape your paper clip. And now what I do is take it, and you're going to go this way with the paper clip. There we go. Take the etho right into here. You're just going to take and pull it right on through. Now from here, get this to shape. So we take, and as the other one did, so if this is the top part right here, we want top and the bottom be um, flipped here. So you want that just like that. So take our little paper wad, put it in there, pull this up close. Now from here, instead of just pulling it up in there, what you want to do is take the etho and pinch it together like this the little paper wad, stick it in there, and now pull it tight and try to keep this all very flat. You should not see the paper wad when it is done. So now, from here, make sure to get a small amount of glue, as I did on the other one right there. And now we work fast, so we take our little paper wad, stick it in there, make a little now from here we make a little groove, stick the paper wad in, and pull the etho this way and tight. And make sure that the paper doesn't show. Just like that. Now from here, almost done. We just need to do this part, then we're done. Take this and push it up this way, just like we did at the beginning. So now we take our paper clip and we push it up into here. As you can see, there's the hole, and my paper clip snapped, so mine's shorter now, but that's fine. Take your etho. put it into that hole. Luckily I didn't have to spread that piece much that time, but if it is closed, just do as you did before. Now take this, and you can pull right in here. Now you're going to pull the etho down, so that it is down where it needs to be. Take your other small paper wad, and we're going to be putting it right in there, doing the same thing. You're going to pinch this piece like this, putting it in just like that and pulling but we need this small amount of glue there so now from here I'm just gonna put my little paper wad aside put just a dab of glue on there spread it just like that now we take our paper wad Repeat our little groove as I showed you. Push just like this. Now we pull just like that. And you want to make sure that the epoxy goes all the way up to the top of the etho up there. So pull this out real quick. So all the way up here. In fact, I'm going to. Now from here, just pull it, pull till it's nice and tight, and now from here, what I like to do is you can use scissors, but at this point is definitely the part where I like to use a knife, so that I can cut right into 
right there. Do not cut any of your Ito. You can use an Exacto as well. I'm going to use my Spyderco Pakal and be, as I said, really careful not to cut your Ito. And there we go. It is now done. As you can see, Kashra is on and that will not be going anywhere. That's pretty much it. Uh, I plan on doing more of these videos. I plan on doing one eventually on how to shorten the ska and things like that. Other, all kinds of videos planned on customizing swords for you guys who want to customize your own swords. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya!